How's it going guys? Grimsy42 here and I am back with week two of my continuing garage sales for the year 2015. Definitely uh, found some more stuff this weekend. Definitely happy to add some of this to the collection. Some of this will make some good trade bait. But without further ado, I'm going to jump right in. Uh, the first item I found is actually going to be the running joke of the garage sale season. I do not believe I will be picking up another one of these because I have been since... Uh, probably last year on the hunt for a backup for my current console, which is working fine. Uh, believe it or not, it actually got sent out to Xbox or to Microsoft to be repaired for Red Ring. But picked up another 360, and it is another white, and it is another 20 gig. Uh, and unfortunately, it is yet another Red Ring of Death. So uh, I believe I paid $10 for this. So it was worth the chance. I was fingers crossed the whole time. Unfortunately, I was not able to come up with a working one yet again, but it was worth a chance. And now I've got like 40 pounds of junk that I need to get rid of uh, between this week and last week's Xboxes. Hopefully I learned my lesson, but probably not. I'll keep picking them up as long as they're cheap until I find one that's in good quality working condition. These next few items I have here are items that I picked up at a neighborhood sale I went to. And Believe it or not, these were the only things I found at the entire neighborhood sale. Thankfully, I needed some of them for the collection. Um, unfortunately, none of them are like really good blockbuster titles, and none of them really are going to blow you away, but still additions to the collection. Uh, the first one here is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Kind of a cool holographic cover there. Next one is Winter Sports, The Next Challenge 2. Next one we have is Championship Paintball 2009. I actually had to swap cases on this one. This one was chewed up really bad by a dog. I don't know if you can see down there. You can see part of the art is actually missing. So if that stays in the collection, I'll definitely be looking to upgrade that uh, awesome paintball game. <laughs> I'll think of it as a precursor to the new Splatoon game coming out. But anyways, uh, next one is Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. And the last one here, I'm told the first one's pretty good, second one not so good. And this one is the first one, Epic Mickey. So, nothing too awesome there. I wound up getting all of those for $4. I wasn't going to complain. Uh, it wasn't the best deal ever, but it also wasn't the worst. Um, the next stuff I want to show you guys, I actually picked up both of these for $5 each. Unfortunately, the seller would not come down at all. She said she was selling them for her son, and she was already in trouble selling them at that price, and that she just couldn't lower them anymore. And for five apiece, I was definitely not going to complain. Two DualShock 3 six-axis controllers, and I needed two spares. I actually only owned a couple controllers for my PlayStation, so I was super happy to pick these up. I thought that five apiece was very fair, and they're in really, really good shape. Like, they are, like, hardly touched at all, so... For five bucks a piece, I was more than willing to add those to the collection and just drop one there, but nothing too major. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the next sale that I went to, believe it or not, had some factory sealed games, and I was completely blown away uh, to find those. But the games I'm going to show you here, I got all of these for a dollar a piece. Uh, the first one is a Ubisoft title, and it's Open Season. Next one is a Konami title, which actually looks uh, pretty interesting, and it's Elibits. Next one here, this is probably the highlight as far as the open games. Uh, half of these were sealed, half weren't. And this one here is Excite Truck. I'm told it's actually a really good game. I don't know if it was a launch title, but it definitely came out right at the beginning of the life of the Wii. It was uh, 2006, so... Interesting looking game. Huh, this next one is actually a Rockstar game, believe it or not, and it's Table Tennis. Alright guys, we are now into the sealed games, and remember, every single one of these was a dollar, so for a buck on every one of these, I was okay. Uh, the first one here is definitely not the highlight, but a sealed copy of iCarly. Next one here, I actually own this game already, but it's cool to pick it up sealed, is Far Cry Vengeance. I can't confirm, but I'm told that this game here is uh, very similar to the Pocky and Rocky series, and it's Heavenly Guardian. 
And last, and certainly not least, a sealed copy of a game that I actually needed for the collection, and it is Trauma Center Second Opinion, and it is an Atlas title, so super cool to pick all those up. Like I said, eight games, wound up paying $8.00. Uh, there were actually a couple DVD box sets that I picked up at that same sale, which made it 10 but obviously those aren't video games, so I didn't include them in this video. Alright, we got two more stops that I made, and I thought there were some pretty cool items here. The first stop was where I actually picked up a, a PS1, not the original fat model, but the slim, and it came with a literally like new controller couple third-party memory cards, a first-party memory card, which is always really cool to get, and then all of the cables that are required to hook it up, and as you can see there, it says PlayStation and $10. Another cool bonus that was with it, and I didn't realize this till I actually got home, was a charge cable for a PSP, so I thought that was pretty sweet. And here is the console. As you can see, it's really, really clean. I actually do not have one of these yet in my collection, so I'll probably be keeping this. Uh, definitely something that is pretty neat, but the best part of this was actually what was inside. And I don't know if you guys can see, so I will just pop it out for you. Sadly, disc only, so I am uh, on the lookout for a case and a manual for this, but pretty cool to find a copy of Harvest Moon sitting in there. Definitely thought that was a really good surprise with all the crappy PlayStation games that are out there. It could have been a stupid sports game or something, but Harvest Moon and all of that, like I said, was $10. So I thought that was an awesome, awesome deal. Um, this next sale, everything I'm going to show you here, I paid, I want to say 15 total for. Uh, the first item is a Nintendo DS game, and it's Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. These DS cases are tough to open. Next item I thought was pretty cool. It was in a CD, um, like a pile of CDs that were marked a buck a piece, but again, it was part of the bundle here, and it is a copy of Resident Evil Director's Cut. And normally I am completely... Uh, Completely not in the mood or desire to collect the Greatest Hits games, but in this case, the Greatest Hits actually supported the DualShock Analog Controller, and the regular version of the Director's Cut did not. So, this is the only way you can get DualShock support for Director's Cut. Not that this game really needs or even really want to use Analog, but it's still, it's still a different uh, feature and something that gravitated me to want to pick this up. And either way, for a dollar, I would have picked it up. The last item I'm going to show you guys here, uh, unfortunately, is missing the stylus, which definitely is a bit of a letdown, and it looks like uh, it's got a little bit of nicks and dings on it, but for part of that $15, like I said, I was definitely okay picking it up. Uh, this will probably not be staying in my collection, unfortunately, and it's just due to the condition. If this was a little cleaner, I definitely would have kept this as my... Uh, staple for this specific console, and it is a Super Mario 25th Anniversary Nintendo DSi, and I don't know if you can kind of tell on the glare there. There's definitely some scratches on it, and the screens, unfortunately, also have some scratching, but believe it or not, and without a charge, it still powers up, so I thought that was pretty, uh, pretty awesome, and definitely proof that it worked, so... Definitely happy to uh, find this at the price I did. It'll definitely turn around and flip into something that I definitely want to add to my collection. But week two was pretty awesome. I was happy. There were some good finds, some surprises. I'm really excited to show you guys the stuff I found in week three. I definitely hit the money on this one. I mean, nothing like stadium events rare, but there was some really cool stuff, and I definitely found a lot of stuff, and I think that's really what had me the most excited. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what some of the things you found this weekend are if you went garage sailing. And as always, until next time, guys, take care.